Hey y'all, I hope you have been enjoying your summer. I see lots of people traveling on Facebook and it's making me jealous. Are y'all traveling this summer? I get to travel between Austin and Dallas, but that's not really the same thing. Oh well, I get to share these recipes with y'all, which is pretty fun too. This week, those recipes include charred summer squash and zucchini with a lemon dressing, Mexican beef and peplo, shredded chicken tacos with tomatillo sauce, salmon with green beans and roasted tomatoes, and fried eggs over spinach and bacon with hollandaise. Let's get prepping. Hey y'all, part of your recipes this week is gonna include a tomatillo salsa. I highly, highly, highly recommend uh, you make that salsa on prep day. That's because it's going to take a little bit of time and what you can do is you can set up the roasting of the salsa before you even start chopping your other veggies. Like just do the quick chop of the poblanos and the onion, it's really not that much. And set everything up, get it roasting, do all of your other veggie prep and then you can finish out the salsa and then store it in the fridge and you are good to go. And then when you make the dish that requires this salsa, it comes together in such a fast amount of time because you've already done all the work. The other nice cool thing about the salsa is that you actually are gonna have more than you'll need for the recipe. So um, add it to other dishes, like throw it on some eggs in the morning or whatever else, play with it. See what else it tastes good in. Um, so yeah, you'll have that. And it should stay good for, um, for several days in the fridge. You know, use your best judgment. I can't tell you an expiration date because I don't know, um, but be smart about it. So, all right, that's that. Basic recipe, you're gonna pretty much do your standard roasting technique, right? Heat the oven to 425, line a baking sheet in foil, lay the tomatillos out. That's what these are, if you've never seen them. These are tomatillos. They come wrapped in this little thing, and then you open them up, and there they are. They're little green tomato kind of things. Um, anyway, take these out of their skins, place them with the poblano, the onion, and the garlic on a baking sheet. Drizzle with olive oil, sprinkle with salt. Roast in the oven. Uh, with these ones, you know, you can go anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, maybe even 40 if you want it to be really nice and kind of charry flavored. Then um, take them out, cool them off, process them in the food processor until smooth, puree them out until smooth. Maybe add a little water if you need to, and, uh, and then you're good to go. Store in the fridge. That's it. Let's get cooking. Thank you. 